What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode. Yes, I need to cut my hair. I know. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, I will cut my hair. You know the news. Welcome back to another video. So many of you guys asked me to make a tutorial about how to do this post that I posted, post that I posted on Instagram last week. And here we are. I have to mention, the way I've learned to make this effect is through a tutorial made on Josh Rufemi's channel by Coffee Liquor. It's gonna be linked up here. His Instagram is amazing, so please go follow him. Go have a look at his stuff because it's just insane. He's an amazing VFX artist and photographer and videographer and everything. Please go give him some love. This is my twist on it because uh, the way he explained it and did it was really professional and really studio-like and this is my twist to show you guys how to make it in your bedroom literally in your bedroom and i've said this is exactly everything that you need to make this effect come to life you need duct tape black tape whatever tape you want and one or two i use two sheets of um, just green paper green screen right here that's all you need. Uh, you do need uh, a laptop and After Effects because to make this come through, we're gonna go through key in After Effects as well in post production. And you obviously need a camera and um, a tripod. All right, enough talking. Let's go in my bedroom. What shall we do here? Hmm. Let's go in my bedroom. All right. The first thing you need. Welcome to my bedroom. First of all. The first thing you need to do is find a way you want to shot the video. For example, I have this uh, black curtain, black blinder, whatever you want to call it. So that's going to be my background and the bed is where I'm going to do my set and I'm going to be standing right there with the set on the bed. So find a place that works for you first. But let me show you what my set looks like. Okay, the most, whoopa, the most important factor, as you can see, so the camera is gonna go on top of the tripod, all right? This is gonna, obviously horizontal, cause horizontal. Portrait mode, cause it's a um, Instagram pose. And then this is what the camera is gonna see, right here. Literally, this is the post. And basically, as you can see, make sure that that is level right there has to be level because um yeah uh, the first time i made it i didn't check because i'm an idiot and the second time i made it i was out of focus so make sure the green screen is level and you're in focus so manual focus if you can and um that's about it so the next thing we're gonna do is um let's take for example the ring you want to put the ring, I can't reach it. You want to put the ring over here, for example, in the middle. And then basically what you're going to do, this, this green screen over here, is going to be your line on Instagram. So you want to be straight and then you're going to come behind, reach over and reach back. And uh, that's it, basically. Uh, let me show you how that's done. All right, this is pretty level right now, as you can see over here. And all I'm gonna do is uh, walk on frame, take the ring, woo, play around with it, boop, and walk off frame. Remember, your frame is literally the green screen. You can't go over, obviously. And um, yeah, for this training purposes, I just wanna show it horizontal, cause it's easier and um, it's easier. I'm just gonna cut it. And Instagram doesn't have that much quality anyway, so you can shoot it horizontally too. I did shoot it vertical, because uh, I don't know why. But you can shoot it horizontal. If you shoot 4K, it's, it's gonna be fine. Just make sure you're in focus. Once you shot everything, you're just gonna come into your laptop and uh, let me start a screen record, because that would help you a lot. And you're just gonna open, as you can see, you're gonna open After Effects 
and then you're just gonna drag your file into the project in After Effects and also make sure to go on Instagram and uh, as you can see screenshot two different screenshots one's gonna be the bottom one the top uh, in my case it's a black bottom and a black top because I use dark mode so you bring those two into the project as well once it's done you're just gonna drag your file into the new composition then you're going to go into composition composition settings and we're going to change this to 180 per 1350 which is the size of an instagram post and as you can see it's already pretty scaled up pretty well but we're going to scale it up better once you have your whole thing selected all you need to do is a command d to duplicate this so we are going to rename these as key just to have it we're going to rename these as base layer once this is done we are going to decide where to put what but first let's key our hand up we're going to go key light and you can see there's a preset key light plus key cleaner plus bounce of spill suppressor which is all you need to key so you're just going to click on that yeah, sorry, make sure you double click onto the layer before you apply the subsection and everything else. Anyway, you're gonna click on that. Oh, oh, oh that's the wrong one. It's fine. Yeah, so as you can see right now, it's, uh, it's not bad already. Our hand is there, but you're gonna turn off the advanced uh, spill suppressor and what it does as you can see, there's a little bit of green over here and uh, just kind of like disappear and stuff. So basically, in literally five seconds, we already must the hand up. So now, all you're gonna do is uh, literally just uh, add your top and your bottom. So we are gonna do the top over here something like that and then we're going to do the bottom over here and then actually oopa bottom over here as low as you can go there we go and then we're gonna move this because I'm not in frame so I'm gonna move this down to about there and then we're gonna scale it up And then we're gonna move it down. Opa. And so basically, once you play around with everything and um, you're happy with everything, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Looks pretty clean to me. Um, the green screen wasn't perfectly straight as you can see here. It's a bit wobbly. But if you spend your time and just like, you know, this this looks pretty good to me, to be honest. Apart from a, a little bit there, there is no limit to creativity. So please guys, thank you for supporting the channel again. Don't forget to subscribe and like because um, it makes a difference. So just spend half a second, click the subscribe button. And uh, that's about it. Again, send some love to Coffee Liquor because without him, I wouldn't come up with this so thank you so much and uh, yeah hopefully next time you see me I have my haircut probably not who knows anyway guys I will um, talk to you very soon next week thanks for support as always I love you so much